Uh, in today's video, I'll show you guys how to calculate your lot size on Trade Locker. As I promised you guys in the last video, that I will show you guys how to calculate your lot size. And if you haven't watched the last video, it's basically just a quick tutorial on how to use Trade Locker. As a lot of pro firms are like starting using Trade Locker, and I kind of like Trade Locker uh, a lot more than like DX Trade or C Trader. So mt4 and 5 is banned for non for us customers so that's why a lot of problems are using trade locker and risk management is very important in trading that's why calculating your lot size having the correct lot size and understanding understanding how much you're risking per trade is very important so this is the website that i use for like calculating my lot size you guys can use the same one yeah, you just put in the currency that you have, the pair or uh, like account size, uh, stop loss pips. I'm gonna show you guys what this is, uh, like how much you're risking and this, you don't have to change it. And contract size, uh, this is very important that you have the correct contract size. So let's say that if you have like, I'm just gonna show you guys an example. Contract size is 10, but if you change it to one contract size, as you guys can see, a lot is, like different so that's why contract size is important in order for you to have uh, like correct lot size so stop loss pips is basically when you let's just go on trading wheel and let's open this position over here let's say that i want to go just enter short over here it's just an example and take profit over it is over here so as you guys can see this over here 1334 this is your stop loss pips so it changed based on where you want to put it so if you want to put it down here as you guys can see it's going to be 54 8 so now you just have to come back and put it in here 54 8 and like that's going to be your uh like stop loss pips now how to find uh your contract size so this US tech is uh, like US 500. If you search over here, that's going to be SNPX 500. Uh, over there, it's not showing, but yeah. And US tech is NASDAQ 100. So just select the pair that you want and switch it to stop loss pips. And we said that our stop loss was 54N. And now you have to come back here, go on your uh, like trade locker. The pair that you're trading and in this case it was Nasdaq 100 I'm gonna just search not Nasdaq in mini let's go uh, as you guys can see over here Nasdaq 100 like right click on it go on to view the details and like scroll down and here you can see your lot size is 100 so your lot size is 100 just come back here put 100 and your account size is maybe 25k just calculate now you have your lot size so it can be like uh different on different pairs and i can show you guys that too if you uh so that you guys understand it better let's go on snpx 500 as you guys can see snpx 500 if you go on view details right click uh the lot size is okay. SNPX 500 is also uh 100, maybe like SNPX mini. If we go view details, and as you guys can see, the lot size is one. So it depends on maybe you're trading a forex pair, uh, let's say like Euro USD. Uh, if we go here and go to details and the lot size is 100k so what you have to do is come back here put 100,000 as your lot uh, contract size and uh, like change it to EURUSD there we go EURUSD and now calculate the lot size there you go you have your lot size so if you want to risk maybe 2% or maybe uh, you can put it 2% over there. It's going to show you how much your money is risking and uni units per trade size and lot size over there. So that's how uh, simple it is to calculate your lot size on trade locker. And if you have any kind of question, let me know and I will try to explain it better 
uh, to you guys but I think this video is completely like with everything you need so I think now you should be able to calculate your lot size